Hello everyone. So today again we will solve one more question paper of general intelligence and reasoning of previous year, and this paper will help and boost uh, speed and improvement your exam preparation. So the topic that it will contains are classifications, coding, decoding, number series. Almost it will have various combination of questions from every topics of the general intelligence and reasoning. So hopefully this will be very helpful for your exam preparation. So if you like the video. Please subscribe in and share it. So uh, the first question is from the classification, and you can see in the following question three and four out of the four five alternatives are same in a certain way. And so I from a group find the odd one out that does not belong to the group. So among these four options here, you have four options: Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Among these four options, one will be unique, means the features of one, the characteristic of one will be different from all others. So here you can see the Mercury, Venus, and Mars. These all threes are planet, you know, and Sun is not a planet. So your answer will be option A, that is Sun. That was a very simple question, you know. Uh, so the answer will be Sun here. Option A will be your answer. So this is question number two. Again, you have to find the odd one out here. So cloth, thread, and cotton. You can see these three terms are related with each other, right? From cotton, you can say you will make the thread, and from thread, you will make the cloth. So the plastic is totally a different entity here. It is a it made it is made up of a different thing. You can say it has different characteristics. So your correct answer will be option B that is plastic. So here the question number three again we have barter, sale, purchase, bro. This was also asked in SSC 10 plus 2 2013. So uh, here the different is you can say the unique thing here is bro option number d because you can see the barter sale and purchase this all three terms are business term so here barter means what you give it is the type of business you can say you give me potato like uh, and i give you rice so um, both people are exchanging something exchanging some values okay there is not something like you are helping you are giving me and i am giving you something and sell is also this you sell you sell something for the purpose okay this is a type of business you are making some business purchase is a type of business in but here the borrow the word borrow means for example you have asked to give a pen or you have asked to uh, give you a book or everything anything but you don't give me in return anything okay just uh, like i am helping you there is no intention to have a benefit from you if you are borrowing something from me so just it is you can understand that this term is not a business term it is just not a selfish term you can say so option d is your answer question number four again flower branch stem roots this question is quite uh, i will say sometime you can say confusing but in this question i will prefer the answer has option number d that is the root and please comment what you think this question number four is something for some people this question is doubtful so uh, what is your answer but my answer is here d because uh, everything that is the flower the branch and the stem is above the ground if this is the ground the root is under the ground okay so i will consider root has the different thing and your branch is everything above the ground okay this is the ground so uh, if this is the ground so root is under the ground and everything else that is flower branch and steam everything is above the ground so i will answer this as option number d and some people might answer as flower but why you are answering flower please give your logic and comment your answer So here, uh, question number five. Again, we have sky, star, planet, comet, and moon. So again, we have five persons, and you can say the answer will be definitely sky because you can say uh, this is B, C, D, E. 
both star planet comet and moon are celestial body right you know celestial bodies celestial bodies so celestial bodies everything uh, out of the earth atmosphere if this is earth and this is the earth atmosphere anything outside this is known as celestial body you can say that like moon planet asteroid everything will be considered as celestial body but this sky is the part of uh, earth you can say and this is not something physical you can say another way this is not a physical thing this all these four are a physical thing you can also say that so here is question number six if the second half of the letters of the word transportation nil are re reversed and placed before first half of the letters which letter will be the third to the right of the 13th letter from the right so this is first let us uh, what is saying it is to reverse the half of the letter and place it at the first so let us do that first so we have total letters here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so it will be the half so 4 and 4 8 so here it is the half so this person back half second half this will be the second half and this second half will be reversed and placed in front of this so reversing this means l will be in the first then a n then o i t a t so here we can write it like this l a then n o i t a t so this is first the second half which is reversed and now it has been written in the first and second half is t now this will be written as same it is so t r a n s p o r so this is this part is the first half part and this is the second half part which is reversed okay now we have written like this now the question is that the placed before the first half we have placed this which letter will be the third to the right of the 13th letter from the right so let us find the 13th letter this is the this questions look to be complicated but it is easy so the 13th letter this is the eighth letter you know that we said eight was the half so eight and this is the 9 this is the 10th 11th 12th and this is the 13th so this letter is 13th and so we have found the 13th letter now the question is that which letter will be the third to right of the 13th letter so right of the 13th this side will be the right right and from here we have to find the third letter so this will be the first this will be the second and this will be the third so a is your answer option d hope that you got it so let's see question number seven so this is question number seven to ten in the flowing word electrocardiograph the first half of the letter are reversed but one letter p and then prefixed and finally letter s is suffixed so uh, we have to reverse the half of this letter so let us count how much it has one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, 9 will be the half of this <coughs> electrocardiograph. So, 4, 8, and this will be the middle. And so, we have to reverse this half. So, reversing this will become like this uh, A, C, O, R T C E L E. Okay, we have reversed the first half, and, and then um, we we have to write this. That is R D I O G R A P H. So uh, you have to be very quick in doing this now the first letter is uh, next what they have done is later uh, they have put p is prefix prefix means you have to put p here and s is suffix means you have to put s here now what is the question let us see question number seven which 
which letters will be exactly in the middle in the middle so uh, there are two letter that will be in the middle and you have to find that so definitely uh, this was the middle person and definitely if this is the middle person then uh, there is no letter in the middle so you have to consider this as middle right this will be the middle that is e and r you can't consider one letter middle you have to consider both that's why they have given e and r so option d will be your correct answer so of this same set we have question number eight and here they are asking how many vowels will be be to the left of the middle letter so uh, and this is the middle letter okay and how many will vowel will be there to the left of the middle letter so left will be this side will be the left and you know the vowels are a e i o u right a e i o u so let us find that l is not a vowel e is a vowel so let us sort it out this and uh, o is a vowel a is a vowel so we have three right so answer should be option number d so d is the correct answer right again we have to see question number nine of this same which vowel will have a constant consonant to the left but a vowel to the right of it which vowel will have a consonant to the left but a vowel to the right of it so you have to find the vowel which will have a consonant to the left but a vowel to the right so it means uh, what will happen for example this is a vowel and left side it will have consonant again here it will have vowel so that means two vowels and one constant consonant you have to find like this this will be the combination so uh, let us find two vowels together and you can see that in this side we don't have any and here we have that is i and o are the two vowel okay and the left you can see here is a d that is a consonant you know so uh, your answer will be which will be the uh, which will which vowel have a consonant to the left and a vowel to the right of it will be answer will be that is i that is option a the nine correct answer is a so the 10 have named the letter sandwiched between two vowels so you have to name the letter that is sandwich you know what is sandwiching you have add sandwich and putting one above another is you can say is the sandwiching okay so name the letter sandwiched between two vowels okay miss here it will be a vowel here it will be a vowel and there will be anything it can be any letter okay you have to find that so let us see that uh, you can see a is a vowel o is a vowel and c is sandwich between it here and more you can uh, let us see if we have more something like that again here e e is a vowel again e is also vowel l is also a sandwich between it you can see between e l is sandwiched between o and a and o c is sandwiched and uh, if you see in this side so here answer will be uh, only we are getting c and l let us see we, if we have yes option b is the correct answer that is c and l so 10 option b is the correct answer So this is question number 11 here flowing question there are certain relationship between two given terms one side of uh, this symbol and one term is given on other side of this so while another term is to be found from the given alternatives having the same relation with this term has the terms of the given beer pair beer choose the correct alternatives so you have to find the relation that is exist here between these two terms maharashtra and india again you have to apply that same relation to find your answer here in the place of question mark so the relation should be same here you have to apply the same relation you can't apply the as you wish but you have to find what relation is existing between these two and again you have to apply that relation here so 
India is a state in Maha, uh, sorry, Maharashtra is a state in India, you know that. In our India, we have a state Maharashtra in similar way. Texas uh, is a state in USA. That is option D is your correct answer. So question number 12 is uh, of that similar type. So again here you have to find the relation between these two. Again you have to apply to find the, your answer. So uh, what is bow? You know, uh, it, it is something like uh, you can say I can go yes like this right and a thread is tied here you know this is both from here arrow is goes okay so in the similar way from pistol what's come out what is released it is bullet so option a is correct answer from so we have question number 13 x uh, woodcutter uses x to cut woods in the similar way needle is used by whom this is used by tailor option c is your correct answer to each stitches the clothes right so option c is your correct answer again we have box question number 14 you have to find the relation between these two again you have to find apply this relation and find your answer this question are simple so what is king you know and here throne you know king sits on throne that is a type of a special chair where king sits okay so that is thrown so here rider where rider sits rider sits don't sit on the chair or seat it's it is a special term that is used that is d that is saddle uh, if you have seen the horse there rider sits on the saddle that is made up of something like leathers you can take that as an example so option d is your correct answer rider seat on saddle you have to choose the most appropriate word or relations that's why these are this is something quite weak confusing for if you if you don't know the terms so again we have question number 15 and here coins mint you have to find the relation again apply the same relevance to find your answer so again we have mint you have coins so coin is actually made in mint mint is a place uh, mint is something you can say where coin is made so bricks is made in clean right so option d is your correct answer don't be confused with this there is a special term where bricks are made that is clean option d so we have this uh, so this is question number 16 and so again you have to find the relation between these two terms and apply that same relation to find your answer so your relation should be same you have to apply the same relation you can't apply another relation here and uh, relation here is different so so here again we have uh, a stream here a stream is produced by this river okay in similar way what ocean produce it produces current like you can see like this this and this these are the ocean current this is not the electricity current so don't be confused with it option a is your correct answer so this is question number 17 and again in question number 17 we have predictions in uh, so predictions are made in future made for future so prediction are made for future again in the same way regret you make regret for the past right the mistakes you have done in the past or the like you didn't prepare for the exam and you regret so in the past you didn't prepare and you regret so in the similar way in the past regret is for fast right option number a is correct so question number 18 hong kong china a uh, hong kong is a place in the china in the similar way it can is a place in rome option number d is your correct answer this was also asked in ssc multi tux in 2013 so we have question number 19 moderate intensify and nominal so if you can see here the relation is that uh, these two word are opposite to each other so moderate you can know you know moderate intensify is intense very intense in the similar way you have to find the opposite of nominal nominal here okay so nominal this nominal and another opposite is nominal means you can say cheap and here we opposite of this nominal will be expensive and terms will be expensive 
so option b is your correct answer that is too expensive something are expensive some things are nominal so we have question number 20 in uh, so this question number 20 is of coding and decoding so in a code language it is saying that friend is coded as h u m j t k so uh, you have converted this friend in this so this you can understand as secret code language and in similar language you have to write Bhopal what uh, it will be written in that code language these are the four options so in this type of question let us first we have to find what is the code language what is the secret you have to decode that you can say so you have written here friend and h u m j t k it has been written here so if you find first it is better to know the place value of all the alphabetical uh, series what are the place value of these alphabets it will make the solving capability faster you so in the alphabetical series the f is on sixth position okay and here in the alphabetical series h is on eighth position so if you subtract uh, uh, 6 from 8 you will get 2 ok remember that so the difference is of 2 right the difference between F and H is of 2 again if you find the placeable position of R and U you will get a different of here 3 again if you uh, find the place value of I and M and if you subtract I from M you will get a different of 4 and similar way you will get a different of plus 5 and here you will get different of plus 6 and here you will get a different of plus 7 the different of between when you subtract k uh, d from k you will get a difference of plus 7 you have placed the place value position of this and you will get a difference of 7 so you can see here what is the logic here we we have increased plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 5 6 7 in it is going on the increasing order so in the similar way you have to code this so let us write here b h o p a l okay uh, so where you have to start from you can start either from one or two you can't do like that you have to find first here it is, has been started from two so let us first we will what we will do we will start from adding two so when you will add two to b c and d it will become c and d so here your option will be d so if you can see here anything uh, that is starting from d in this uh, options so the three option that is starting from d so again you have to find the next no uh, so here again we will add a three to this value and adding three will give you k let us see if you we have k you can see here is it is k and we don't have k here and here so don't you don't need to solve other it will take time so answer c will be your correct answer right so this is question number 21 again here in a code language tiny is coded h r g l w in the same language zebra will be coded as you have to find what the zebra will be coded in that secret language these are the four options so again we will write here t i n y and try to find the relation between t and r let us find first the relation between t so uh, you have to remember the place value position again here it's better to write a uh, short trick e j o t y e 4 5 j is 10 o is 15 t is 20 and y is 25 so uh, here t you can see t is on 20 so t is on 20 and r uh, uh, r is on what is the place value of r so place value of r is 18 so if you can see here this is 20 and this is on 18 so difference is of minus 2 right again you have to find the relation between i and the next is g and again l and this is w so the relation between i and g the place value position of i it is on uh, the place value of i is so it is on uh, i think ninth yes i is on ninth 
and again uh, the place value position of g is uh, 7th right so if you find a reference between 9 and 7 it is 2 again you are on 2 and again if you find the place value position of n and l yeah so here again you will find a difference of 2 and here again and between the y and w you will find the difference of 2 so what we we have done here is that they have done here is that they have subtracted minus 2 from the place value position of the number to be coded and you will get the answer so here again what we will do we will write here z e b r a and subtract minus 2 from each place value position of this alphabets and you will get your answer so uh, uh, z minus 2 it is what you will get is z and back of the z is y and you will get what x right so subtracting minus 2 from z you will get you will get x and if you subtract e from uh, 2 minus 2 from e that is you will get e d means your answer will be c right so you, you will get c again from b if you subtract minus 2 you will get what this is b it's if you subtract then you will get a again you will get z coming back you will go to z okay remember that so here you will get answer will be z again subtracting minus 2 from r you will get p again if you subtract minus 2 from a here you have a if you subtract uh, 1 you will get z again if you subtract 1 you will get 1 y so minus 2 you will get y so you have to write here y your answer will be y remember that you have to go back in this way only so your answer will be x c z p y and that is option number b right option number b is your correct answer so we have question number 22 again this is also from coding and decoding here it is democratic and is written as this e d m o c r a t c i then how continuous will be written in the same code so uh, this was also asked in cgpsc 2013 so let us write it here first d e m o c r a t i c and let us write it below e d m o r c a t c i so if you observe it carefully you are getting the answer right if you observe it what they have done they have uh, interchange the place position of this d and e and they have kept this same again they have interchanged this again they have kept this position same and again they have interchanged th this position of i and c so what you have to do you have to do the same you have to apply the same logic to code this continuous so let us write it here c o n t i n o sorry u o u s continuous so you have to interchange this c and o so here it will be o and here it will be c and again you will write here n again we will write here t again we will write interchange this n here and i here again you will write it here o and sorry u and again you will write here o and again you will interchange this so here it will be s and here it will be u so let us see where this option is and this is i think option number c right so option number c is your correct answer this was simple right so thank you everyone this was the end uh, of this part and we'll make the other remaining question in the next part and this is question number 23 and this is for you has you have this 165135 is coded has piece 1215225 will be coded has what these are the four options you have lead love low aura so you have to practice this yourself and comment your answer let us see who can answer the correct answer and the answer of this question will be given in the next part of this coming video so uh, hope that you like and if it was useful let us know by liking the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you